The problem is, in a gravity-free hall, a tray of mass capital M carrying a cubical block of ice of mass small m and h capital L is at rest in the middle. Here is a figure. If the ice melts, by what distance does the center of mass of the tray plus the ice system move? Two cases have to be considered. A. Ignoring surface tension. B. Taking into account surface tension. Ignore any change in volume. In both cases, there are no external forces since it is gravity free hall. And therefore, for the tray and the block system, the center of mass cannot change its position. However, let us analyze the two cases. If surface tension is ignored, then in place of this ice, it would be just water, same shape. So there is no question of change in center of mass position. If surface tension is considered, then the cubical block would become spherical in shape. The volume of the sphere would be equal to the volume of the cube. The radius comes out to be around 0.6 times capital L or the diameter would be around 1.2 times capital L. Suppose there, suppose there is no change in the position of the block even after it becomes spherical, we would have this type of situation. Because the radius is more than L by 2, it is around 0.6 L. And initially the center of mass of the block was at L by 2. So now 0.6L and earlier 0.5L. This means that the center of the sphere is above the center of the block. But center of mass for the whole system of the block plus tray cannot change its position and therefore in this case when surface tension is being considered the tray must move down. So the cubical block would become spherical and the whole thing will come down along with the tray keeping the center of masses position unchanged for the combined system.